Today's theme is unusual tone combinations and trying out things you wouldn't necessarily expect to work because you never know what you might find. As is the case here, I am running for this demo a DS1 plugin, the Distortion 1 from Audiority, into a more scooped uh, sounding amp, the new bulldozer, newly updated I should say, bulldozer in the classic series from Audio Assault. And these are some old amps that they've fully overhauled and put into their new plugin. The bulldozer is supposed to be like a early 2000s kind of scooped, bassy, trebly type sounding amp. It's not exactly my style, so I was trying out a bunch of different overdrive and boost pedals to see what would really work well with it, and I just happened to try the Distortion 1, the DS1 plugin, and I really liked it. The DS1 provides some of that solid state, hard clipping type distortion, as well as a different tonal flavor with the tone knob, and uh, yeah, it's not something I would think would work, but it just did. So. I like it, and I like it better in this combination than the amp on its own or with a regular overdrive. All of that is then running through the GGD Studio Cabs Cali IRs, which are quite nice, and uh, while the include IRs in all the Audio Assault amps are also good, these just happen to work better for this tone, I thought, so I went with that. So we've got three different plug-in companies, one pretty sweet tone that's a little bit different from other more typical modern metal sounds. So first up is my usual mix demo with this particular tone, and then afterwards we can look at some of the isolated tracks and what some of these other amps sound like and what they have to offer. Here are the isolated tracks from this demo, and I'll pull up all the settings on screen so you can see exactly what I did.
Now let's listen to all the amps in the newly updated classic series from Audio Assault. There are three amps here. We're going to start with the bulldozer since that's what I did in the demo and I'll go through how it sounds with some other settings. And uh, they do have the new 3D cabs on all the, the newer versions of the plugins, the EX editions, and that is really nice. That's a feature that myself and some others requested, and I'm glad they implemented it. So even though I am using some other IRs for this one, the included ones are good as well, and I'll show you both. Next up is the Dominator amp, and if I was using just this plugin on its own, this is probably the amp I would use. It's more geared towards a modern metal sound with that mid-forward character. Lastly is the Emperor, and this is more of an 80s, 90s style, slightly more vintage metal sound, maybe reminiscent of like a Marshall JCM 800, though none of these amps are actually modeled on a particular piece of gear, but that is sort of in the ballpark of the sound this one's going for. Thank you. 
I have used the GGD Studio Cabs Cali IRs on some other videos, but I haven't done a full review because the plugin crashes Reaper, at least on my system. And I don't really know what the problem is because even in a fresh project with only that plugin active, if I turn the bright dark knob, which changes IRs, if I just wiggle it back and forth a little bit, or even move it slowly, even on one single IR, it can crash Reaper. And that is, to me, relatively unacceptable. Uh, I should say, totally unacceptable. Obviously, I have mixed feelings. If a plugin is buggy and it's causing Reaper to crash, I don't feel comfortable using it in a session. If I forgot to save and then went to change the IR a little bit and it loses progress on what I'm working on, that's not good. So, I am a little hesitant to recommend it. However, the IRs, which you can export from the plugin, the IRs themselves are some of the best out there that I've tried. Um, Nolly has an extensive collection of some of the best V30s in the world, and they don't all sound the same. Um, in fact, this, this plugin is only V30s, and I believe they're all in the same cab. It says it's an oversized cab in the name, so I'm gonna assume that they're all in the same actual cabinet, but these speakers sound pretty different. They're all in the same ballpark, but they're all they're all fairly unique and characterful. And as Nolly has pointed out a number of times, the V30 has many iterations and maybe just the natural tolerances in making speakers has produced quite a variety of sounds from one name of speaker. So don't think that all V30s are the same or that it's only UK versus Chinese made. There is more differences than that, and this plugin really shows off the range of the V30, and um, it's pretty cool. The IRs are really good, and for the price you pay, it's normally $50. I think it's worth it for the IRs, but I kind of wish they would just include the exported IRs, because I had to manually export them, and that took a few hours, or alternatively, fix the plugin. Um, now, maybe it's something going on on my end I don't know but normally my machine is very stable Reaper never crashes really so I'm gonna say that it's a buggy plugin right now at least in Reaper perhaps I don't know if they update and fix it uh, I'd be happy to go through a full review I do like the interface of the plugin I think it's a, a smart design it's a good-looking UI but as it stands, I just use the IRs that I exported myself laboriously from the plugin. It works, but you know, it's hard to recommend a $50 set of IRs with a plugin that for me at least doesn't really work. Upcoming, I am building a second MIDI controller, which has been a little bit difficult so far. Um, I think I destroyed <laughs> some pots and so I've, I've got more in the mail, but I am building another MIDI controller and it's gonna hopefully be really cool. It's maybe a little more geared towards controlling synths, but it might have some application for guitar too. And I really like doing these Arduino MIDI controllers, but uh, I'm not very good at coding and uh, I, I'm pretty handy with a soldering iron, but I'm not an expert in electronics by any stretch and I'm really not very good at coding. So I, I just know the basics I can manage to get through a small project if I don't keep it, uh, if I don't go too ambitious with it. But anyways, that's been what I've been working on. So I've got plenty more interesting projects in the works. And as always, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and come on over to my Discord and hang out with us there. And I will see you in the next video.